Hello, so we are back, but this time, let's see the proper way to test a battery. Before, I was doing some research on YouTube, but I couldn't find any info about this. From a simple reason, you cannot buy a phone battery tester. I mean, we've seen uh, on YouTube uh, videos, people testing phones against the other phones, based on uh, how long they are holding the charge, meanwhile playing the apps on the phones. But actually checking the cap battery capacity, I can't see. So I will do one, yeah? People ask on my last video when the, I was uh, speaking about we are dealing with phone repairs, if you remember. And they ask on the description, sorry, can you tell, me, can you tell us more about this device? Well, uh, you know, here are plus and minus, and this, there is a reason why you will not find this kind of device for sale, yeah? So what do we have here? This is just a normal regular battery tester. I'll not give you the brand name because this is not great. And I'll buy something else and I'll show you why. What? Anyway, this is just a capac battery capacity tester. And you can find this kind of device. Not too many, not too many, but you can find them. When actually you can stick here a battery and test the capacity. So what do we have here? We have that kind of device testing like normal batteries. And uh, I took two wires from here. This, this is not a stable connection, yeah? So first I'll try to, first I solder the wires from here and here, but it's not a proper connection. So I solder the wires straight on the board. Fake wires, yeah, so they can, uh, we can keep the internal resistance low. And this is an activation board. You'll find, you'll find those things to buy from uh, anywhere. What this board is doing, you plug the battery and the device, this board, it will charge the battery. Uh, first, you have to understand how this board is working. You can charge a battery, but only once at a time. Yeah. From those connectors, you can see the battery connectors, only plus and minus it's used, no data lines. Okay. And the plus, if we are checking with a multimeter, yeah, you can hear the multimeter, yeah? So let's say from here, a connection from here is here, 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 here. And on the other side on the same, yeah? So all the plus from the connectors, yeah? Here we have Samsung and Huawei, and here we have Apple, all the plus, are soldered together. All the minus are soldered together. It's that simple. So all you have to do is to buy like any activation board and solder plus and minus. Uh, here we have two wires from plus and minus from each connector. I mean, all connection, they are coming here. Actually, this is a very bad board. So I burn this board and the first seconds I try to charge a battery. I plug the USB-C and I so I put the battery on the wrong on the wrong way, and um, here it has like two MOSFETs, and the MOSFETs blow up. So I use this board to solder two wires from plus and minus in order to test the battery. Now, before we start and show you how how uh, you can test the battery on the right way, <clears throat> let me tell you the story because the story is a little bit interesting. Now, why you should test a battery capacity? What's the point? I mean, we know the phone battery capacity, we know, right? On any phone. Yeah? Like Diana 11, uh, iPhone 11 uh, Pro. We know it's a 3000 milliamps uh, battery. Actually, everything starts with Diana. On the Diana phone, she made a video. She had 100% health after three years. Three years, meaning probably around 1,000 uh, charging cycles, and the battery was not holding the charge like new. But the, in, the, in the phone menu, uh, it was sh it's showing 100% health. That's how precise is the health on the battery on the on the phones. If you think you can just watch the health battery and okay, the battery is good because the phone is saying the battery health is great. No. So she took up the phone, she made a video, she took out the battery 
she tests the battery and actually I was impressed you know after three years the battery still had 2400 milliamps which is great I mean the battery lost like 30% of the capacity in three years I mean it's fantastic but anyway the idea was it was not matching the what the phone was saying with 100% health and actually the fact that the battery has like 75% health Okay, so on that point, I said, you know what? If we made a device to test the battery, the phone batteries, I want to test the original battery, our original brand new battery, compared with the replacement battery to see how good they are, you know, just to have an idea. I'm actually, I'm looking to test uh, different batteries from different uh, sellers to see exactly where can I get the best capacity. So, uh, from where I can get a new battery, from a new phone, obviously, uh, what we did, uh, we, we go to the Apple store, we pay £69 for a replacement battery on the iPhone 11 Pro, and that's the way how we took a brand new battery from Apple. So, uh, I made a video, and I haven't published that video, probably like two weeks ago I made a video, I didn't publish, because on the end of the video I realized it's a hate video, and I don't want hate videos on my channel. Anyway, I test the battery, and actually prove the battery has only 2,800 milliamps, and I was like, I was so angry, you know, like, this is, this is sick, you know. They are lying or they are fitting uh, refurbished batteries. I mean, the test, don't get me wrong, the test is very simple. You have a 3000 milliamps battery, you discharge the battery with like 500 milliamps, so uh, the battery should provide 6 hours 500 milliamps. It's that simple. Nothing complicated. So that's what I did, you know. Here is a fixed current of 500 milliamps. You cannot ch change the discard, the, the discharge uh, current. So I test the battery. But how do I test it? Because here is the trick. Yeah, You cannot test a phone battery. You cannot charge it here because it will not charge full. This can charge only up to 4.2 volts. On the iPhone, uh, from what we've seen, on the iPhone, I, bet, I bet probably on all iPhones iPhone 11 Pro, the charging, it's ended, ending at 4.4 volts. And this is the charge only on 4.2. That's the reason why, why I want to replace this. So the only way to test, to, to, to make a, like a precise test, is to charge the battery into the phone, then move the battery from the phone here on this device. Yeah? So you move the battery here, and you start discharging the sequence on this device. And on the end of the discharge, it will tell you the capacity. So that's what I did. And uh, on the end, I found out actually the battery, a brand new battery, was like uh, 2,800 milliamps, which is not 3,000, how they claim. Anyway, <clears throat> I can't see what I uh, did wrong. I can't see anything wrong on this test. I'm really sorry, but I can't see it. Now, how do you test a battery? Very simple. You take the battery and plug the battery. And first what you will see it will be the internal resistance. And actually, you cannot find a battery capacity, uh, phone battery capacity tester on the market. But you will find devices we can check. Uh, we, we, they can check the internal resistance. And based on the internal resistance, you can figure it out if the battery is good or not. But that's not a precise test. That's not a capacity test. Keep in mind. So uh, we can see the internal resistance. This battery, I can tell you, this is a used battery. You see, it has a sticky thing. I took it out from a phone. But those are kind of, uh, I believe these are, uh, are not used or let's say are like new. And uh, if I plug one, you will see a different uh, internal resistance. Like this one, 164, okay, maybe not this one. A hundred fifty-four. You see the internal resistance is lower, but that it will tell you nothing about the battery capacity. 
So it's very simple. You go on the menu. Obviously, if you charge it, it will charge only up to 4.2 volts. But this uh, device is made for cells. Yeah, keep in mind the batteries they have a BMS board. Yeah, so the voltage from the disconnector is not the same with the voltage from the cell. That's why I said you have to charge the battery on the phone. If the battery is charged on the phone, you can press discharge, and then the device it will discharge the the battery with like here, like we can see here, like 500 milliamps fix discharge current. And I did test, and indeed there are like 500 milliamps. And obviously the capacity starts from zero and is going to one, two, and it will count the the, the total capacity. The test is long, you know. Uh, for a 3,000 milliamps uh, battery, 500 milliamps discharge current, it will be six hours. But, you know, it's uh, not much what you can do. That's the way how you can check a battery capacity, no matter what battery it is. So, still, Sorin, what's the point of this device? What is the point to see the battery capacity? First, you cannot trust the manufacturer. And if I want to make a, like, a, I can do like a, if I will have time, but I don't have time. If you, if you want to do a successful YouTube channel, you should get this kind of device to test the battery capacity because I'm pretty sure the manufacturer are lying about the battery capacity. Like the one from the Apple. I mean, why that battery has only 2,800 milliamps? Uh, that's interesting. Anyway, getting each phone, each phone battery outside and test the capacity, that will be a good content for YouTube. Uh, the other uh, reason why you should, you should have this kind of tester, let's say you want to find out each battery capacity to know what you fit on the customer phone. Then you can check every battery. But most likely, the people, they will not have time to test. But at least, like how I said on the, on the previous video, Try to get a battery from each manufacturer, from each seller, sorry, from each seller, test them, and uh, try to find out from which seller you need to buy batteries. Remember I told you about, I, I, I tried to make a video and uh, I haven't published that video. But anyway, I test the new brand new battery capacity and also I test the replacement batteries. And... Uh, I was kind of disappointed. I mean, even the replacement battery, the best one, was like 2,800 milliamps, same like the Apple one. And the worst one was like 2,000 milliamps, and I bought it from eBay. Brand new batteries, a replacement battery. So, what I believe, I done something wrong on my test? Probably not. I believe everyone is lying. You know, even the, even the manufacturer, even the... Uh, the manufacturer doing the replacement battery, I believe everyone is lying. That's what I believe. Now, why they are not fitting a bigger capacity on the phone? It's a, it's a technological limitation. You cannot put more capacity on that space. Yeah. Now, why sh you should avoid buying something like that? You should avoid doing something like that battery test it, it i will say yes you know if you are a if you are a if you are a repair shop you know i i don't think a repair shop it will ever buy something like that maybe only for that reason which i told you just to find out from what seller you can buy a battery but otherwise you know like a repair shop to buy a device and test the batteries uh, you you can be on a very awkward position. Like you have a customer, the customer comes with a 80% health battery. And uh, if you want to be honest and you can tell the customer, yes, sir, I'll replace your 80% uh, health battery with a brand new 80% health battery and I will charge you for that. And that will, that will be awkward. Yeah. So I was surprised, like how I said. Maybe on maybe on some point I will publish that video, but that's not me. I'm not that kind to do hate. But anyway, 
the battery which was from uh, a warehouse from here from London was 2,800 milliamps like the original one and the one from eBay I bought the cheapest one from eBay was 2,000 milliamps brand new replacement battery so uh, you probably you should test and you should choose a seller if you are on this business okay so I believe that's all for today what I'm looking to buy I will show you what I'm looking to buy I'm looking to buy a device where you can actually adjust the voltage the ending voltage because like I said on my iPhone is 4.4 so uh, you have to adjust the voltage to end up uh, charging on this device you cannot do it okay on this device you cannot do it but I'm looking at this device I will buy it I will buy it and I will test okay I'm looking for something like that and this is like half price compared with device which I have it here but also is supporting like any voltage and uh, any current and uh, I can set up however I want charge and discharge okay so that's all I'm not to uh, speak about this because this is not perfect and the only way to check is to charge on the phone if you don't have the phone you cannot test or let's say you you can test actually I tested so if you run the capacity test yeah it will charge discharge the battery and you have to add 200 milliamps to have a to have like a, a you know a right capacity because like how I said it will not charge to 4.4 it will charge only to 4.2 okay but this is not great this is this is this is not great so I will not tell you what device it is yeah I will buy one I will do probably another video and you will see how is the right way to test the capacity but anyway you know this is the EBL uh, charger this board you can buy any board any activation board I think that's how it's called the activation board and uh, if you take two wires from plus and minus actually you'll have plus and minus on every connector and you can plug any battery and you can charge you can discharge you can uh, even like a short test yeah I think this is very useful in a shop like a short test, like a short internal resistance and you can see actually like how good is the battery compared with another one you can see like roughly how good it is because a bad battery it will have a very high resistance internal resistance okay so i'll stop now thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, probably see you on the next one yeah bye